Hello everyone! <clears throat> Sorry guys, um, hi, um, this is Milos here and welcome to Let's Play X Rebirth episode 5. Um, in this episode we're going to go through Teladi space and come to the other side of the jump, um, jump gate. I'm just going to show you a little pathing path and I decided to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to purchase one of the weapons that comes in Taladi Outpost um, DLC and it's a heavy laser. Uh, it's going to replace my repair laser and I just for some reason wanted to do something different and I wanted to get out of my comfort zone because that's the way to grow anyway in real life. So let's find a mechanic. So we go find the mechanic plot course and this is the Albion sky requesting permission to dock docking permission granted I think it's pretty racist station I did only Teladis here but anyway is there something I can assist with business is slow laser just now here we go board done go back to the ship and let's save now before I go any further I just want to show you um, something remember in the last episodes we boarded a uh, vulture and it became our uh, trade ship and it's it, it, the ship is still around it's following us and have a look at this my marines if you remember in one of the previous episodes i bought about 50 recruit marines now they leveled up into veteran marine after the first boarding also i bought shield support drone that is meant to boost my shields in the case of um, them getting depleted in the combat so but anyway that's that's about it for now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly through here and I'm going to go to the other side of Teladi space to do that I need a little bit of a map overview so I actually have no idea how this happened I've got all the zones suddenly uh, probably this happened after my capital ships and I went through a safe space so you know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plot course so what you can do is you can select a certain zone click a plot course and it will tell you which way you should go now in fields of opportunity there's a way two ways I could travel now I could use the use my um, uh, one of my capital ships or I can see these flashing lights and there's one there and there's one there that's what I need to follow so I'm just going to follow those and we're gonna take it from there Remember to save. I just want to show you to my ships. Uh, light cells just going through the gate. And Vulture as well. It just went through the gate. So this is one of the menus as our um, empire expands into a number of different ships and stations. This is one of the menus that is going to be used very often. I also have assigned a secondary key for the side sidebar menu. Normally it's an enter key and I decided to use tilde or whatever it's called, tilde or I'm not really sure how it's pronounced. Tilde key, so I press tilde key to two and is the list of my property. Now, as I mentioned in previous um, video, that uh, Taladi space is fairly dangerous because neutral factions are considered as being pirate factions, 
and they will attack your trade ships however from what I heard is that um, they will not attack any of your um, combat ships so let's hope that everything goes smoothly just check this new laser heavy laser it's hot pretty quick that's not good anyway One thing I uh, Calibrating forgot to mention, for what I remember, there is, there is a lockbox somewhere around here. really relevant because all the artifacts are actually scattered across the rest of the sectors um, there are no artifacts in Taladi outpost or Taladi zone there is Xenon them. Um, there's another thing you can do. You can select a ship and press I, and it will give you the information. Transmitting point now. So we're just going to ignore them, and we're just going to carry on. So we're going straight into this electrical storm. We're gonna wait. I'm gonna wait uh, the last moment um, until I approach. Then first zap. I'm gonna use the boosters to get out of it. Save. Transmitting rendezvous point now. lights but I'm kind of not interested too much in Teladi space except for claiming that free ship and uh, potentially trading with um, the, um, the station we saw earlier
go. Just go through the stone. Danger. Hazardous region Entering Serpent's Tail. Transmitting rendezvous point now. Here's a logbox. And as we know, save. So let's see where the explosive is. Now this is going to be a little bit tricky because it's rotating. I'm going to try to push it to stop rotation. go and there is a new option in 3.5 which security storage. currently use O to attract all the stuff I think that's about it it's been sucked in there we go Carry on. Before I proceed, I'd like to do something with my fleet. I'm going to mm, call. I hear you. So after settling me in here, you want me there? Give me the list. Let's select a station or ship with a commander. Sir, you have a ship ready for me? Yes, Captain. We are putting you in contact now. If you want to keep an eye on me, then I'll come and join you. The new ship will be used according to my given orders. So basically what I did is I assigned my light cell headquarters to Vulture to defend it. actually ask me um, who to assign the ship to to whom sorry normally you assign ships to defense officers and then they um, so here we are in the super highway we're going into an unknown sector This indicator that happened here, it looks like that my ships may be under attack. Let's see where they are. Okay, they're flying through space. Entering the Transmitting new coordinates to following ships. Oops, didn't see that coming. Let me 
me see. Let me see if the gate is Entering here. Sanctuary. Transmitting new coordinates to following ships. No, I don't think there is a gate here. Anyone see any gates? I'm not putting any trade agents in um, on these stations. Are kind of. I'm not too much interested in trading with Taladi Space because of its dangers. Hmm. There it is. Transmitting rendezvous point now. And... Entering. Transmitting rendezvous Here point now. Here we are, now. in Omicron Larry. At the end of the galaxy. Now, why am I here? I'm here because of this ship here. This is another unclaimed ship. So, earlier today I picked some... Um, pick, picked a captain. Picked an defense officer and the engineer. As you can see, for engineer, the most important or the only important thing a stat is engineering. You can see it on the top right hand corner. Engineers are responsible for ship repairs. As you see, there's one engineer here and there is another one here, and this is this engine sorry this engineer here is responsible for repairs on the skunk hello mate so i can ask him what everything looks like if there's anything for repair goodbye so, um, until next time sir that's the role of engineer defense officers however they are responsible for defense of the ships um, you can see the important stats are leadership combat and morale now um, Leadership, I think that's, in my opinion, or in my humble understanding how it works, is an ability to lead any assigned ships into the battle. With combat is how good they are within the combat, within the ship, and morale is how quickly are they going to give up um, in the battle. So this is the best I could find at the time, and this is our captain. Similar uh, things, leadership, navigation is how they're going to uh, find a certain pass through the galaxy, whether they're going to use boosters or not, an appropriate time, and whether they're going to get lost in space or not. So I've got it, all these three people hired before I go and claim my second trading ship. So, guys, you know the drill. Come to the ship. If I do anything, I'm gonna save the game. And you can press F button. If you select the target and press F button, it will give you all possible. Um, um, options to to do with the ship now this time what I'm going to do in my previous video I've shown you that there is a possibility of exchanging drones in between ships only if not only drones just the cargo in general um, only if there is cargo lifter present on the ship 
So this is why I'm tagging along this vulture container. I'm just gonna see briefly where they are. Oh my god, they're still there. It'll take a while for them to come back, to come to me. If I go into information and under units we have, it has about 10 of them. And all I need to do is to transfer one or two construction drones into the new ships and that is going to speed up the repair so therefore I don't need really repair laser anymore so I'm going to issue a command to um, the boarding officer to board his uh, ship and the boarding sequence will start now keep in mind that I'm boarding two unmanned two unclaimed ships I'm going to find an opportunity and I'm going to create a video where we're going to board um, a ship um, that is basically armed and boarding is slightly different and more challenging. In this option, um, with, this, with this ship basically we can issue board command straight away because um, it's unmanned and it's boarding resistance is fairly low as you can see 68 boarding resistant is basically telling you what is the likelihood of your crew to board the ship i'm not sure where i can see uh, there it is boarding attack strength is 38 it all that number depends of the skills of your marine and as well as whether you have recruit veterans or um, elite marines so I'm going to do the boarding I won't show you the whole video I'm going to repair the ship and I'm going to start exploring the whole cluster here I'm going to put every trade agent on every single um, station and I'm gonna slowly start getting into the station building. Let's make sure there are no nasty surprises first. We should start by taking out the jump drive. Well guys, that's about it for this time. Let me just see how this laser works. Doesn't actually get hot. So now there we let's go. blow up the engines. That wasn't too bad. Doesn't even get that hot. Oh, he just did. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. That spot looks just about as good as any other. Launching pods. Let's make sure they get there in one piece. Launching at the target. Yeah, they're so cute. The first one has arrived. Thanks, Yusha.